After you open an app on your iPhone, even the settings app, it remains open, even after pressing the home button. This is useful when using Pandora or other streaming music apps. To see a list of your open apps, or even quickly switch between them, double click on the home button. This can be done in any app, even while watching a video. It allows you to quickly switch to another app. You just tap on one in the app switcher. To switch back is just as easy. To close an app, Tap and hold the icon until it begins to jiggle, then tap the minus in the top left corner. It's good to do this regularly, as having a lot of apps open can drain the battery. The iPhone uses smart battery multitasking technology that suspends all but the four most recently used apps. This saves more battery life, but not as much as closing them completely. <coughs> However awesome your iPhone is, apps still occasionally crash. To solve this, you can launch the app switcher, close the app, then reopen it. It doesn't solve every problem, but it needs to be done when an app stops responding. <coughs> if you swipe to the right, you can see more of the apps you have open. If you swipe to the left, you can access the rotation lock button, which stops your phone from automatically rotating the screen. This can be particularly annoying when reading in bed. Tapping this button prevents that and locks your phone in portrait mode until tapped again. You can also control your music and videos with the play and skip controls. It can also be used to quickly jump back to your music playing application or the app that is currently playing music or video. If you swipe left again, yep, there's yet another screen of options you can control volume and airplay. The airplay button here is often useful when an application's airplay button is hidden or difficult to find. When you receive an email, text message or voicemail, it not only appears on the lock screen, it is in the notification center. To open it, just drag down from the top of the screen with your finger. It can show stocks, local weather, recent appointments in your calendar, and any other notifications that your phone has received. Just click on the specific notification to jump to the app associated with it. For example, if you click on an email notification, it will not only jump into the mail app, it will also open the specific email the notification is about. When your phone is locked, if you double click the home button, you can access a usable lock screen. It shows the artist and song name, you can even control what's playing, and you can still slide to unlock. You can also quickly jump into the built-in camera. You can use these controls even if your phone is locked with a passcode. When you launch the camera application from the lock screen and jump into the camera, you can even take a picture with the volume up button on the top left side of your iPhone. This is a very very nice, fast way to take a great candid picture. Anything you see on your iPhone screen is potentially a picture. To take a screenshot which captures what is on the screen as an image and put it in your camera roll, you press the home button and the sleep wake button at the same time. The screen will go white and you will hear the camera sound indicating you just took a screenshot. The screenshot can then be located in the photos app. If you have a lot of home screen icons, it can be arduous to keep flicking back and forth. Well, you don't need to. No matter which screen of icons you're on, all you need to do is press the home button once and it will take you right back to the first main screen of icons. Thanks for watching. To see more iPhone tutorials, visit my channel www.youtube.com slash A562178.